Previously on Haunting History. My name's Charlie Bookout. Um, I'm with Mortuary Studios. Part of the, the stuff that we do is a haunted attraction called Carpenter's Mortuary Spook House. Don't so pull my shirt. It's so crazy, man. When we used to live here, I swear, dude, there was talking all the time, just whispers. Did you kill your baby? Whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. After interviewing the owners and hearing the history and claims, we then interviewed local country music star Johnny Dale Roberts. He told us that as a child, he and his mother had lived in the building where they had odd experiences and possibly an attachment. Johnny then joined us on the investigation in which we were also accompanied by Justin and Austin Spurrier of Spurrier Paranormal. Can you please finish? Oh. What is they? He's back. Wait, have you been here? Is no. that what you asked? Yeah. Do you remember me? Yeah. Help. Help. Just as Johnny was about to leave for the night, Justin, Austin, and Johnny all heard and captured a voice of a female on their digital recorder. But it's eventually it adds up, and if he's starting new, it's whoa, whoa. But it's eventually it adds up, and if he's starting new, it's whoa, whoa. What makes this more compelling is that a female voice was heard by John and myself earlier in the night, but we never told the other guys in hopes of corresponding experiences. That was a voice right when I woke up. I went, hmm. There was a voice right at the same time. Remember, if you want to come, you can come with us. You're welcome. on this thing, man. I'm telling you. Yes, I am a ghost. <laughs> Casper the friend. You really should see this. Try something. Try something. Oh, man. Can you stay back here? Huh? What were some of the things that... Well, I mean, I asked, like, if there's anything that they miss about oh. being alive, and... And I thought I heard it say food, but you didn't answer that one, you know. As Justin was talking to Austin, a whispering voice was captured close to the mic. We could tell that this was not Austin because of how distinct his speaking voice was in comparison. Another thing we noticed is that before the voice, the camera audio started picking up interference. If there's anything that they miss about being alive and... And I thought I heard it say food, but I asked like if there's anything that they miss about being alive and and I thought I heard it say food, but huh? what were some of the things that Well I mean I asked like if there's anything that they miss about being alive and and I thought I heard it say food, but you didn't answer that one, you know. Uh -huh. um, but I asked what what is your name and you said Christian. Is that what it sounded like? But I said I couldn't make it out really. I mean, I don't know. I, I just said, "Is that?" But your... Beth came through again. Yeah, that's what you said. I heard that. <sighs> I guess all the things have been removed from this keyboard. Yeah, all pumped out. Ooh. If there's any spirits with us, we've got 
the EDI meter, you can touch it and make the blue light come on. Yes, thank you. Huh. Thank you. I double check something here. Thank you. Are you able to make it go higher? Instead of just, yes, thank you. Whoa, thank you. Whoa. Thank you very much. I just put my phone on airplane mode, like, so it's not my phone. Is there somebody here that would like to talk to us? Light that up if you would. Austin. I guess we gotta... All right, spirits, we're over here now. Do you see where we moved to? Is there some dust flying by, or is that a great grandma? Since uh, he hasn't said anything about you touching his knee yet, so you can do that now that he's a mischief. Where's John? So do you remember John? Is that what you're saying? Yes or no? Do you remember John Dell Roberts who was just here? Find Jay? Who's Jay? Can you tell me who Jay is? Talk to him. Are you talking about Jay, the creator of the direct link? Is that who you're talking about? Yes or no? Call. Uh, I did miss a call from Jay a while ago when we started filming. But I think he's sleeping now. Why do you, you want me to call him? Who are you? What is your name? So, how do you feel about the... Hear you. How do you feel about the... Dad. How do you feel about all the Halloween type attractions? The scary things that are placed all around this building. Do you feel that, um, does that scare you? Does it help you feel at home? Does it give you energy when they turn everything on? I'm going to grab the other day, I think, as well, so we can switch it up. Love you. the nun you not like religion did you go to a school that had nuns and they used to beat you with a ruler we should probably call it it's 1119 yeah set on back you can do it's been almost an hour. We regrouped with Justin and Austin, where we decided for us all to investigate together. Can you come over to this device, please? It's on the floor with the little red light. Just see if you can make it activate for us to let us know you're here. Yeah. 
Where are you? <gasps> I, I, I can't tell what that. I mean, you looked at me. At I the know. Same time. I, at the same time, I know, because I thought I heard something, but I couldn't tell. Where are you? This is the worst when you blink a light around the corner. There's a wall there, though, not too far away, so. The building fell silent, so we chose to try an experiment implementing sound and vibration. You gonna keep it going while I'm doing this? We find the good one. Should we move it to where it's out here, like facing somewhere in the... No. Because it's like facing the wrong way to get the... Right there. Go back one. <coughs> it was 977. Right. Hello? Follow the sound of my voice. Use that frequency to talk to me. I notice whenever you change the pitch to this, like I, I want to speak in that pitch. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try it again. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try a square wave. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> That's kind of funky. That's a little disturbing. Which Actually, one? That this last one? one. Yeah. By introducing various frequencies into the area, we were hoping to give any entity a platform or means to communicate. Let that one ride. Are there any females here? Is there anybody named Pamela? Is there anybody named Pamela? Throughout the night, we seemed to get responses from a potential female. Could Pamela actually be the name? Or is it just coincidence? Did you kill your baby? Whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Yeah. We then set up for an Estes session in the front of the building. Once again, it would seem as if someone wanted our attention. All right, Spirit. So um, how many of you guys are here with us right now? Physical number, please. Who is the female that we keep hearing? What is your name? And uh, I heard on here responses. Sounds like. How old are you? Hey, hang on a second. Yeah. You guys ever like feel this thing like uh, the vibrations from this when you're holding it? I mean, it's not like a common thing. I mean, you're feeling like an energy vibration, like your hand, like when you feel your heartbeat and your finger type of thing. No, it feels like somebody taps on the device on the. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, I know. What you're, I mean, I know what you're talking about. I don't know if it's happened with that, but. I'm trying to find a good sweep rate. What was that? Is that you? No. I'm serious. That was you, I thought. No. I, swear, I swear. What? Come on. Did John, John do that? What? Right before he turned it back on. Did what? There was a woman's voice that came right from your area and it goes, <laughs> Was it you? No, is no, that what I, that was? I, I, swear I thought God. it was John talking or something. No, I swear to God. No, it went, <laughs> like right over there. Well, it'll be on the camera if it was you, but it wasn't me. That's fine. I actually. It sounded like it came from that way, but. Yeah. 
I heard it. What is the female's name that we keep on hearing? Dude, holy. Yo, uh, someone has to be outside. No, it has to. It didn't even sound like it was out here this time. Not over there, no. It sounded it sound like it was right inside here somewhere, like way back there. It sounded like someone was yelling. It's like a little girl. Help me! There. Yeah, I, I heard male, but. Oh, I heard a little female. Like a... While Justin was able to hear a female, Austin claimed to have heard a male. They were both right. Listen again as it would seem as if both voices were asking for help. What is the female's name that we keep on hearing? Dude, holy. I just want to show people outside. This is Gentry. Middle of the street here. There's nobody. It's over here. Nobody. You guys are here. Like, give me a physical number. Brady. Brady. Oh. I think I heard. We all heard. Um. All right. So, what's your name? Got a name? Yeah. Well, what is it? What's your name? Do you enjoy having us here? So. Do you enjoy having us here? Stop. Stop. What? Someone just grabbed my leg. Like, full on. Grabbed my. I can't Give the see. camera to just. Austin, take it. Austin. Holy moly. It went up my hole. I know that sounds weird, but I have a hole in my jean. And it. I need a light. Here. I got. Here. Okay. Okay, it went down. It went down like this. So I have this under here. And it was like someone grabbed this under here and was pulling that up on the inside of my pant leg. Who did that? What is your name? Oh, that was a weird, like... Mark. Mark. Oh, you just asked the name. I know. What did you say? Mark. Mark, stop that shit. <laughs> Good job, Mark. How did he go down there without... <laughs> little. Little. He's little? He went down You asked how he, could, how he did it. Yeah. Little. Mark, how old are you? Pastor. How old are you, Mark? We got Pastor. Right I know. Here. We got Pastor on the on the obvious. I know. Mark, what town are we in? Where are we? I shut off the joke of water That's why I'm so quiet. Kill. Who are you gonna kill? Her. Oh. Kill them. Who did you kill? Did you kill your baby? G. Something touched my head. Oh, he just got touched again. I don't know what that was a whisper. It was weird. Who keeps touching him? Let us know the name right now. What? Demon? 
Who keeps touching Just, him? Oh god, I'm feeling really weird. Sick, yes, I'm feeling very sick. Wait, what? Wait. Who do you, you want to talk to? Father, I'm seeing help. Who do you want to talk to? This is me telling you guys this feels very uncomfortable right now. Who's doing this to him? The fuck? Something's touching my knee. My knee's on fire hot. Oh. A weird whisper. Alright, that was a that was a tense game. Boss? Punk? Yeah, where's the John? Playing? You could hold back there. Probably. Easter. Yeah. Is that your favorite holiday? What is your favorite holiday? Hey, who's touching me? Not me. Not, not me. Not me. John. I did not touch you at all. You sound like you're right behind me. He is, but I am right behind him, but I'm not touching you. It felt like you touched my arm. No, I didn't touch you. Why are you right behind me anyway? Let's <laughs> <laughs> well, get the fuck over there and listen to it. Don't be creeping up on me. Like <laughs> it's called the energy prison. If he... Here we are, guys. Alright, Spirit, if you're going to use this thing, you need to... Used to this? Yeah, get used to it. <coughs> then what? Nick. Then clip. Fear? Sounds like fear. Get out. Why should we leave? All of else. Or else what? You need. <coughs> I keep feeling like there's something in my face. Frick. Getting clear, easy piece. That was pretty cool. I heard that. <laughs> Did you hear me? What? It sounded like clear EVP. Oh. Boys lotion, big day. Clear. <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> Here. <laughs> That it's, was. It's talking a lot now. So tell us your name. Loud and Trouble. clear. No. Gold. Loud and clear. What's your name? Make Dave scream it. Who's behind me? Dean. Down to the end of. That's perfect. What, Dean? Is that your name? Yes or no? Is that harmonica? Do you hear the harmonica? Mm. It's like... <laughs> that's not something that maybe, I mean, Gentry, Arkansas, maybe... I'm not hearing anything right now, it's all just... David. Okay. Earth. Who is the female that that's really? spoke to us earlier? We had a lot of disembodied who's, voices. Hey, who's behind me? No one. We I'm hearing about. stuff past the headphones. No, we're all in here, promise. Do what? We're all in here, promise. Like, I, I'm hearing stuff like it's scratching on the side of the panel. Not us. Just for camera's sake, I'm to show where John's at. Are you on there? I can't see. Oh, there he is. Yeah. So the female that we were hearing the voice, who is that? What's your name? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, something is next to me, guys. I'm not playing. Eyes. 
Is there somebody next to me? I was getting an overwhelming feeling that someone was around. Couple that with the touching sensations and what I was hearing beyond the headphones, the energy in the area became unsettling. The night quickly faded into the morning and the activity seemed to settle. Although no definitive names of who might be here came through, the anomalous voices seemed to indicate the presence of a female and would suggest that she is making herself known. What was that? <laughs> Stop. You? Between our experiences and what we were able to capture, there's no doubt that Carpenter's Mortuary has a haunting history. But who is reaching out from beyond the grave remains a mystery.